Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So you went out and bought yourself a large capacity 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Well, you may want to consider getting a large charging current lithium iron phosphate battery charger. This charger from Ardroid is a 50 amp version, perfectly suited for large capacity batteries such as these. So today I'm gonna to check out this charger. And remember, this is a budget friendly charger for your application. So budget charger, budget battery. Let's get right into it. So I'm gonna check out what comes in the box with the Ardroid 50 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. Uh, looks like we got all kinds of accessories in here. So let me take everything out of the box and we'll look at it closer. So in the box is of course the charger itself, the AC wall cord right there, user manual, after sales card, a QC pass sticker. And we've got some alligator style clips right there that are apparently pure copper. That's, that's pretty serious right there, uh, largest clip style I have seen for any kind of lithium iron phosphate charger and then our Anderson style with ring terminals right here and then the wire size on both the alligator clips right there and the Anderson ring terminal adapter is 10 millimeters squared and 10 millimeters squared is in between a 7 gauge and an 8 gauge American wire gauge a 7 gauge wire is 10.55 millimeters squared and an 8 gauge is 8.4 millimeters squared so kind of in between so it should be sufficient for our 50 amps uh, rated charging and then our AC wall cord to plug into the charger is 16 gauge conductors uh, plenty sufficient for what this charger will deliver the charger is going to do about 700 watts plus or minus and you can see the power cable, the DC cable on the charger is quite large as well. And Anderson 50 amp connectors right there, Anderson style 50 amp connectors. Uh, grid power brand, I've seen that on a lot of chargers and they hold up pretty good. So happy to see that. And one thing of note too about this charger, the body is very small on this charger for 50 amp rating. It is a switch mode power supply based charger with a microprocessor control. So with that, uh, the benefit of that is we have a wide input voltage range right here. We can go from 100 volts AC to 240 volts AC. And it's got a selectable switch right here you can change between voltages. So you move it over a little bit and there's a little tab there and you can switch over to 220 volt. And then the frequency range on this is acceptable is from 45 to 65 Hertz. So if you're using a generator or something like that, you have uh, plenty of leeway to work with dirty power on a generator and still be able to charge your batteries. Another thing of note on this charger, right under the DC lead, we have a LED indicator light right there, which if you reference the front of the charger on the sticker, it kind of gives you a, a reference point right here to see what your state of charge is, what the charger is doing, referencing off the indicators. And then the cooling fan on the back of the charger is right there, a pretty good size considering the overall frame size of this charger. And then our airflow vents right there on the front, and we do have machine grooves down the side to help try to dissipate some of the heat aluminum charger all the way around uh, no plastic or anything on this unit and the charger weighs less than five pounds uh, pretty lightweight uh, most of your accessories right there almost weigh as much as the charger itself does i'm gonna give you a quick size comparison to when this ardroid 50 amp charger here is another brand 40 amp charger right there. So I want you to see the size difference between the two chargers. So you can see the Ardroid is considerably smaller than this competitor's 40 amp charger. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. We'll find out here in a moment. And again, another comparison, 40 amp charger right here on your right. You can see the cooling fan opening for the 40 amp than the Ardroid 50. You can see hopefully how much larger the cooling fan is on the Ardroid. All right, so here's the setup to check this Ardroid 50 amp charger. Uh, don't be confused by the wiring. I will show you everything and how it is set up. I'm going to monitor temperature and efficiency and everything on the charger. So we'll start on the AC side. So right here, I've got an energy meter. I'm going to measure the energy. We'll get real-time readings of the power going into the charger. And then we'll come out of the charger right here on the DC cable lead. I'm using the included Anderson to ring terminal that came with the Ardroid charger, but I just added an energy meter sampling shunt right back there in the back. So the factory Anderson connector goes down into that shunt, and then I'm coming back out on a four gauge wire, which is a lot larger than the one that's included, out of the battery so we can check how much energy is moving into the battery. So the energy meter's cleared out, the battery's at 13.19 volts right there. So I can compare watts in to watts out right here. And also on the center of the charger body, Right here, I have a Type-K temperature sensor, 
and a standalone meter right here to record the temperature of this charger and how hot it gets after running it for a while. So there it is. And let me reposition. I'll show you the startup sequence and I'll run it. And one more thing of note, I will move this energy meter after the initial startup because it's partially blocking the fan right there. So once the test starts, I will move this out of the way so it doesn't obstruct the airflow. All right, so I've already got this on, so you can note the time right here. It's pulling two watts uh, idle right here. So the microprocessor in this charger, say 1.7 to 2.2 watts. So it's been plugged in for six minutes and 59 seconds. Let's start it right at seven minutes right there. And watch over here. You'll see it pulse the current. It's got a four-stage charging algorithm in this Ardroid charger. So you'll see it check everything. You'll see it ramp up, let it stabilize, and show you how it works. So roughly coming up on a minute with the charger on right there, right at eight minutes now. Everything should be stabilized out pretty good now to get us a starting reading. So the charger's delivering 50.63 amps of current into the battery right there. 682.5 watts going into the battery and coming from the wall 768 to 777. It's kind of bouncing around a little bit. Uh, so there we go. And it's wanting to stay around 770, so we'll call it 770 and 682. Charger body starting off at 78.9 degrees early in the test, 26.1 Celsius for reference. Now I'm going to move this energy meter out of the way to get full airflow through the charger body. All right, so the AC side energy meter at 10 minute mark has been moved away from the cooling fan of the charger, 82.5 degrees. And the ambient temperature near the beginning of the test, 75.7 degrees. I have a standalone meter right here to verify the current. The little energy meter is showing 50.13 amps and then the standalone meter 50.5. So just showing you everything I'm using and seeing. So co-witness measurements right there. Temperature sensor just went over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38.5 Celsius. So how far are we into the test? Uh, we started at seven minutes, so there you go. Gives you an idea how long it takes to uh, warm the case up on this thing. All right, so roughly an hour now running the Ardroid 50 amp charger. Uh, the current went down just a little bit. It's been stable at 49.83.84. Been hanging around right there the entire time. After the first few minutes, once the charger got up to temperature, and we've been hanging around about 105, 107 degrees so far. So I feel this is about as warm as the charger should get, an hour of you know full load running. So I'll get a efficiency reading now too. So we'll say 676 on the DC side. And then what do we got over here? Seven is bouncing around, so we have to pick a midpoint. So let's pick 763. Want to make a note on the Ardroid charger at 13. 0.81 volts. I noticed the indicator right here switched from flashing red to flashing green. So that's indicating that we're over 90% state of charge. And also the temperature of the charger, 105.4 degrees. It's been holding steady throughout the test between 103 and 107, staying right around that area. So it's actually running a lot cooler than I thought it would for a box style charger. All right up to 14.16 volts, 17 volts. Uh, on the hum sink battery from the Ardroid charger, you can see the current is starting to come down right there. So we're going into from the constant current phase of the charging to constant voltage phase. So the current should start tapering down as the battery fills up. 106.7 degrees on the top of the charger. Battery's almost full, 14.32 volts. You can see the current still dropping. This is their charging curve included in the user manual right here. We're in constant voltage phase number one right here. The constant current phase is the bulk gets you up to 14 volts and it starts trickling back down. And they're calling it a three-stage charging algorithm. I said earlier in the video a four-stage algorithm because I count the pre-charge pre or pulse uh, function as a stage as well. So just making note of that. All right, so the charger just shut off. As you can see what happened right there on the voltages, that indicates that the BMS in this battery shut down. That's why you saw the 
pulse right there in the voltage. So the charger is stopped because it exceeded 14.6 volts. So the battery is full. So I will turn the charger off now that charging has completed on the battery right here. And then I'll disconnect all this. And we'll talk about this charger. So I'm sure my final thoughts on the 12 volt 50 amp Ardroid lithium iron phosphate battery charger. Uh, not bad, uh, not bad at all during the test. The efficiency stayed consistent. The temperature never did rise on this charger. I like seeing that. Usually these little box style chargers uh, start getting warm after about an hour. So this was over four and a half hours of running this charger to charge this large battery right here. And it did not get above 107 degrees the entire test. The power leads, the battery lead and the wall cord right here, the AC wall cord, both stayed very cool during the test, just a little bit above body temperature because I kept a check on everything the whole time, nothing to be concerned with at all. And another thing about this charger is efficiency stayed pretty consistent throughout the entire test from cold to hot. I got you some numbers right here. Cold, we had 770 in, 682 out, so 88.57% efficient at 79 degree temperature. And then hot, 763 watts in, 676 out, 88.59. And this is higher right here because these numbers were my best estimate because you saw on the energy meter the numbers were flopping around. So I just picked the best midpoint by judgment. So stayed around 88.5% efficient the entire time for a switch mode style charger. That's pretty good. And during the test, I did encounter an issue that was my fault. I was measuring the kilowatt hours coming into the charger. And of course, you saw the kilowatt hours or the watt hours coming out. And I was measuring it and it came out to be exactly what these numbers are right here, about 88.5% from what I put in to what I was getting out. But I lost the data on this because I had that yellow drop cord right here. And I turned this off by accident and lost that data. So... You just have to take my word for it that the kilowatts in, the kilowatts out was right there by 88.5% as well. And why would someone want a charger like this, a 50 amp? Why wouldn't you just get a 20 or a 30 or whatever? Batteries like this, let's take this battery right here, for example, this Humsync 310. If we just divide out, just nominal, not counting taper currents or anything like that. If we said 310 amp hours divided by these chargers ratings, various chargers, I've got you a little comparison right here. If you use a 20 amp charger, 15 and a half hours to charge this battery. 30 amp charger will take you 10.3 hours to charge this battery. 40 amp charger, 7.75 hours. And then this charger right here, if the battery was flat, 6.2 hours. So you save quite a bit of time going with a larger amperage or larger current charger. And drawbacks or dislikes on the Ardroid 50 amp charger. Uh, not really a dislike. Uh, just the fan on this thing is loud. Just be aware of it. I'm just wanting you to be aware that to carry this much current and keep it cool, you got to move a good bit of air. So don't expect this to be the quietest charger. I, I don't care that it's loud. I know that you got to move a lot of air to keep it cool, but just for your reference, you know, it's going to make some noise. And to those of you that were paying attention, you may have noticed this on the close-up shots of the Ardroid charger. They're also saying ternary lithium as a 12 volt battery types. Well, the voltage right here does not match a 3S or a 4S. So why they have that on there, I don't know. I just want you to be aware. This is 14.6 volt output, which is lithium iron phosphate 4S battery packs. And even in the manual, the Ardroid charger specifically designed for lithium iron phosphate batteries. So I think that may be a misprint on their sticker right there. And I do feel this Ardroid charger is a pretty good value because of what all you get with it. And the price is surprisingly low. I'll have a convenient link in the description so you can check out the current price on this charger. It's It beats a lot of the competition price-wise and performance-wise. It's right on par with most of the best chargers out there. So, you know, a good budget-friendly charger to charge these large batteries. I think we might have us a winner right here in the 50 amp category. So I hope you all enjoyed the video today on the Ardroid 50 amp charger. Please let me know what you think about the charger. And also, is this something that could help you on your battery system? And do you have large capacity batteries like this? Let me know down below. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. Special thanks to Ardroid for providing this sample for today's video so I could test and evaluate your charger. Thank you.